Hey guys, Ron from Function Build Aquatics. I wanted to shoot a quick video of the Soon Danio Axelrotti that we've had in this particular Sumatran peat swamp set up for the past um, three weeks. These guys have really settled in nicely. Their color has really changed dramatically in the tannin background, uh, the tinted water that they live in. I'm using a combination of Indian almond leaves, magnolia leaves, and grape leaves to get the tint of uh, its proper shade. They have a single air-driven sponge filter, and they also rely on pothos to help filter the water, along with a 25% water change that I do every three to four days. So far, these guys are really doing well. Uh, I have not seen any reproductive behavior yet, but I do expect that in time, um, I can probably get these guys to spawn. So if you like what we're doing, please subscribe. I'm going to let the rest of this video ride out. If you have any questions, comments, thumbs up, whatever you can give us, we do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Ron and Nate, Functional Aquatics. Hey guys, in this video, you're going to see the Sundanadio axarati feeding on some flake food. Now Nathan and I combined some of two cans, I would say, of flake food that we had, basic Tetra flake foods. And I also mix in some of the leftover Paradigm carnivore and omnivore powder. And I kind of mix that all up in the bag. I try not to let any of that stuff go to waste. And in this, in this case, it works out very well because these fish really do feed on fine particles. Their mouths are too small to feed on any kind, of sm any kind of small pellets. So the crushed up powder form foods are usually pretty good for these guys. Another thing that Sunda Daniel Axarati love to feed on are banana worms, micro worms, Walter worms. I feed our banana worms a combination of spirulina powder and brewer's yeast, which kind of enriches them even further. And as you can see, these guys are really, really blazing.